Hi, it's Susan from Sandgate Physical Health Clinic. Thought I'd just do a quick video to update all our lovely patients on what's going on at Sandgate Physical Health Clinic um, amid all the announcements that the government's made last night in the last 72 hours. We are open. Basically, we're not one of the businesses that's been affected by the closures and we're hoping to remain this way as long as possible. From our point of view, we think the last thing really busy GP clinics need and ED departments need are people with bad headaches, back pain and sprained ankles turning up there when they can really easily come to us. So we're hoping to stay as open um, as long as possible, provided of course it's in the best interest of the community at large. Um, there are quite a few businesses around us in our little village that will be shut from midday today and um, heart goes out to those workers. Um, hopefully we see all those businesses open again soon. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a tough time. But as I said, we're open. Um, we did heed all the warnings and advice from the Chief Medical Officer about doing things differently. And when you get to the clinic, you will notice we are doing things differently. Firstly, when you get into the waiting room, you might notice that a lot of the chairs have been removed and that's to help spread the patients out. Um, if you normally see Nathan, Jody, Kay or Jess and you get treated downstairs, when you get to reception, reception will ask you to go straight to the waiting room downstairs. We are lucky to have such a large clinic, we can spread uh, the patients out. If you're coming to a class, and at the moment our classes are still going ahead, we are not classified as a gym or an indoor sports area. Most of our classes don't have more than six anyway. If you are coming to a class, um, if you want to wait outside, then we'll come and get to when the class is ready. Unless of course there's no class before yours and then you can go straight into our Pilates area. If you are still concerned about people in the waiting room, call ahead. What we can do in most instances is get your treatment area ready for you. So as soon as you arrive, we can take you straight through to the treatment area and your therapist can meet you there rather than coming to get you from the waiting room. We also have a few periods in the week where we're generally quieter. Um, that's Mondays before 10.30, Thursdays before 10.30 and Friday afternoons after 3 p.m. Okay, so if you are trying to avoid getting in touch with too many other people, um, those times are a little bit quieter in the clinic. As I said, all call ahead and we can get the room ready for you and you can pretty much bypass the waiting area. We are cleaning the waiting area frequently. We're cleaning everything frequently. You'll also notice we've stripped a lot of the soft furnishings from the treatment rooms just um, for hygiene purposes and to help protect our staff and our patients. Um, there are still some of you that coming out at all is just too risky and we understand we appreciate that and we want to keep you safe we've always offered home visits here and we will continue to do so most of our physios have already completed their covid19 infection control training certificate that the australian government has uh, put out and we will all be completing that so rest assured if we come to visit you we've doing everything we're meant to be to try to stop bringing any sort of pathogens that you don't want into your house. Um, you'll probably find when we do turn up, the first thing we might ask is um, if we could wash our hands again. So just have a, sort of the basin ready with the soap and the paper towels. Promise we won't use too much. Um, if you are worried about running out of paper towels and soaps when we're coming to visit, let us know. We might even be able to swing by the shops and pick some up for you and drop it off. We're here to help. Um, so if you are interested in a home visit, please call the clinic and um, we'll arrange that for you. We feel it's really important that we look after ourselves here and now. Many of you have chronic conditions, chronic pain, really rely on coming to physio um, weekly or fortnightly and for your physio or for your massage, acupuncture. The last thing you wanna do is forego any of your other health concerns just to prevent getting this virus because the last thing again the health system needs right now is for you to you know, neglect some of your other chronic diseases, not look after yourself and then again, end up being in hospital anyway. Okay, so we can come to you. We're doing everything we can to help you out. What we're also rolling out today, uh, which we're very excited about, are our telehealth conferences um, or consults, I should say. So this is an online consultation basically, and we'll put some more information out about this 
later in the week. But again, you call the clinic, you arrange a time and your therapist will set up a meeting online with you and we'll do our consult you know, via video over the internet. I know what you're thinking, can physios really do that? Um, the universities have actually been studying telehealth is what we call it um, for quite a number of years, mainly because there are a lot of people in remote Australia that can't come into wonderful clinics like ours anyway. Um, and surprisingly, a lot of conditions respond really well and can have just as good an outcome as you would if you came in and saw us one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, so if, if you think that's something we can do for you, again, call our lovely reception staff and um, they'll set you up with a telehealth appointment with one of our physiotherapists. So as you can see, we're really trying to help you out here and do everything we can um, to stop the spread of this virus, but to also keep you healthy and keep you moving. All right, so um, take care of yourselves, take care of your neighbours from a socially acceptable distance. Don't forget to wash your hands and we hope to see you in one form or another very soon. All right, thank you.